Hey everybody, how's it going? I am doing well. The 130 Super that we ported is still uh, is still on the bench. This is the fun. I made it run. I haven't shown you guys it run yet. It doesn't run well. It's hard to start. It's super rich. It's spitting fuel through the carb. It's got fuel coming out the exhaust. It's not. It's not worthy of wood yet. It's not worthy of anything. It runs good though. You pull the throttle on this thing and it's bouncing off the governor on the carb faster than you can even prepare for it. Okay, so what problems have we had with this thing? Uh, the, the reeds were leaky, okay? Uh, these are reeds out of one of these saws. There you go, it'll focus sorta. Uh, the reeds weren't curling out. We had a reed leak. This one, this set of reeds, if you look at it, see how there's no light shining through there? Okay, these are good reeds, more or less, right? Um, this, this saw the reeds were really leaky, so I flipped them around, uh, started, it runs better now, but I'm still having carburation issues. Uh, and I have an air leak at the, at the intake block, okay? I sprayed around the intake block with the carb cleaner and the saw dies. So I have an air leak at the intake block or the carburetor. I think it's the intake block. I'm pretty sure. Um, so we're dealing with that. Um, we're going to have to modify the reeds on this saw. I knew that. Uh, I want to do this on video so you guys can see. Um, this saw, when you modify a saw like this, you have to mess with the reeds or it's probably not going to run properly. So, um, we don't know. Uh, I went further on this one because I like the last one so much. I figured why hold back on this one? Let's go even farther. Uh, this saw is going to move more air and if it moves more air it needs more fuel which means i've exceeded the capabilities of the stock reeds i can't just go to the reed store either and buy home light reeds um so we're going to have to make reeds or modify reeds so this is where we're at but before we do that i took the carburetor off of my 922 home light that's a 77 80 cc saw somewhere in there big saw Okay, she's got a big old carburetor. Well, it's got a governor on it. Okay. Well, this thing's bouncing off the governor. Okay, right here. I don't want that. It's too rich. Uh, I thought I blocked the governor on this saw. I'm going to have to go back through my own videos because I can't remember. I worked on this saw on video way back. Um, I could have swore I blocked the governor on this car, but apparently I didn't. Either way. I swapped the throttle shafts and everything. I'm gonna have to put it back. I want to put this back in my own saw, obviously. Um, well, I got this carb. I don't know what it's off of. She's a big old carb. Uh, same size as this big old carb, but it is not governed. Okay, it's no governor, which means if this thing wants to pull 16,000 RPM, well, we can do it with this carb. Okay. Now here's the thing though. I'm just looking here. I'm just looking at something. Okay. Scatterbrain I'm all over the place. I'm thinking home lights, ported home lights. We need a 90 degree fuel inlet into this carburetor. Okay. This one had a straight inlet. It's broken off. Um, this carb might not even be any good. Uh, when I break saws down, I take the carbs off and I put them in my carburetor bin. Okay, and I store them by brand and model so that when I'm hot rodding a saw, if I need a carbitude or a bigger one, I can just go in there, go into the Tillotson section and pull a bigger Tillotson carb out. Okay, so we got to build a custom carburetor for this saw. This is a very special saw and I want it to have a special carburetor. Okay, wow, <laughs> I need a haircut. Um... So this is where we're at. We got to get this thing running good. We need it tunable. This saw has to cut wood. It has to start, it has to idle, and it has to murder wood. And it can't be too lean and it can't be too rich. Um, because this is a special saw and we need to give it special attention, right? I give all my saws as much attention as they need, but this one is, is very special, right? We're building it together on the channel and we're going through all the problems. 
Okay, so this is where we're at right now. Um, I will run this on film as soon as I get it that I feel it's film worthy. It's not very good right now, guys. It's really hard to start and it's hard to keep running. Now, I fixed the reeds today. It starts easier and it runs better. It tunes better and I actually got it to idle today. It would not idle yesterday. So, we're crossing problems off the list and we just got to go through it until there's no problems. Um, and, and that's why um, you guys are emailing me. I want to port my home light. You have to be prepared. This is super involved, guys. This is for entertainment. Um, I don't know everything about these because I haven't ported a ton of them. But I'm willing to try, right? Um, I've ported enough chainsaws that I want one that's difficult. This is the saw. Okay? And we're going to do it together. So... We're still dealing with reed thickness. The problem is with swapping reeds in these is that when you take the carb block off, the intake block, there's all kinds of gaskets in here. There's a reed block. Um, every time you mess with these old gaskets, you're creating air leaks or deforming them. And then you have to make new gaskets. So that, that takes hours. Like I think I'm going to spend an evening this week and I'm going to cut new gaskets um, for one of these saws. Uh, a bunch of them. I might cut like five sets because I'm going through gaskets like crazy. You know, these. Okay, so that's where we're at. We have to build a custom carburetor for this saw because I don't like the carburation that's on it. Um, this one's way too rich. The stock one, I'm not happy with. There's a stock carb. So when in doubt, Suss the problems out, right? Let's put a different carb. Let's put a non-governed, go-fast, wicked carb. Because why hold this saw back in RPM? We ported it so it'll pull more RPM. We got to let it pull more RPM. And the only way to do that is to build a carb. Is it easy? No, definitely not. Um, one problem I see with this carb is this carb, this carb does not have... This carb does not have a bracket for the idle screw. So that's going to be something, okay? We might have to we might have to drill and tap a hole through the handle so that we can make a throttle stop or uh, an idle screw. We might have to do that. That'll be difficult to do. But we might have to do that if we want to run a different carb on this saw because these saws you can only adjust the idle with the air filter off which i can't stand because when you pull the air filter off the saw goes lean naturally because that air filter is restrictive so you tune it with the air filter off or to adjust the idle and then you tune it get it right maybe you want to lower the idle a little bit well then you got to take the air filter off which makes the saw rev up a little bit. Do you get what I'm saying? So that's one thing I don't like about these saws. Um, maybe we can get this thing to idle with no idle screw. There are a lot of saws of, that I've ported that'll idle with the idle screw backed all the way out. Um, and you just fully tune it with the low jet. So maybe this will be one of those saws. Okay, that's what I got. Uh, I'm just checking in saying hello and uh living life living the dream fellas and ladies there are a few ladies living the dream one home light at a time home lights we got home lights i'm a madman i'm buying up home lights like they're going out of style <laughs> life's good right life's freaking awesome Thanks for coming, guys. Uh, hope you enjoyed this. We can't always make uh, magic happen, but I'm making magic happen on this bench, and I hope you guys are enjoying the content. Uh, this stuff's fun. Maybe we should do more reed saws because they're awesome, and when you get them right, the journey is definitely worth the destination, and the destination is Power Town. Population, one home light, and it's right here. I just made that up. I know that was cheesy. Okay. As always, thanks for watching. Take her easy. I'll see you guys tomorrow, day after. Later.